Welcome back to the playoffs. I'm internet celebrity Brad Pritchard and the Sirloins. Off to a hot start as you can see. 2-0 in our series against the Moonstars. And uh, we got one game to simulate before we break into our third game. Going for the clean sweep. We see the Moose and the Wild Pigs are knotted. Ooh, what a game. But the Wild Pigs hold on. Take the 2-1 series. Excuse me, lead. All right. Sirloins, Moonstars, um, their pitchers, as usual, significantly better than mine. Uh, we're going to have to take the Despot out. Uh, I'm going to have to make some pretty wholesale changes here, I think. Uh, Platoon's obviously not going to be able to play. Hayate in a second. Um, going to give Cat stands of the game off. Put in Mixed He cannot be our leadoff hitter, though. Former starter press. Oops, I, I not take him out. DH. We're running out of players here, so Javier Cortez it is. Let's put Hayata leading off. McSteel way down. Oh, that's too much work. That looks pretty good, right? Sure, why not? Um, we're not going to pitch Neomo, even though I do believe in her. It's a uh, Actually, pitched my third pitcher in the second game. Uh, sketchy. But whatever. Here's uh, Skip Vanderwink, which should give us a pretty even pitching matchup. And let's get into it. We are traveling to Big Sky Ballpark, home of the Moon Stars. Hopefully, to get things going. I, I feel. I've really depressed most of the batters. Somehow, Windy Wheels is doing fine. Windy Wheels is the worst. It's the absolute worst. See if uh, what we can do here with our modified lineup. Uh, swinging at high pitches. That's normal. All right. Here's Eel Soup. Crotch grabbing you, motherfucker. Why? Pretty fast, though. I think she might make it. No. All right, Hammer. I'm just swinging at everything, aren't I? I stand by that swing. Oh boy. That's not how I wanted to start things off. Um, you have to get used to his high velocity pitching, and here's Herbert Hackman. Of course, I didn't realize the entire last game that uh, I was pitching my third pitcher, because I am a genius. Here's Eel Soup. Oh, just cranks that throw. One down. Eel Soup has been a tremendous upgrade on defense from Willard Wiggins. I... Oh, here, let's uh, get fucked up throwing four fall. <laughs> it's like clockwork. Nice throw. Oh. I want to talk to some of the developers of at Metalhead to see if the fork ball is meant to just be terrible. I've been trying to make that thing work, what, five years now? What a catch by Mick Steele. Hey, not going out without a fight. Here it comes. Oh, and the double plays there. Lloyd Cook covers first. All right, nice job there by the sirloin defense. Offense has got to perk up a bit before he really starts going. Got a little bit over top of that one. I don't batter to his mojo will be up, but maybe Filet Jones can do something to stop it. I didn't swing. But then I swung at that one. <laughs> and Filet Jones, not the fleetest of foot. He's not going to make it there. Preston Don probably feels like he got a lot to prove now that he's been replaced as our starting catcher. And that's three up, three down yet again for the Sirloins. This kind of thing is going to happen when you swing at every pitch and when you're playing against excellent pitchers every outing, which is what happens when you face the Moonstars. You're going to have these games where you can't get hits right away, and you just got to hope that your pitching can see you through it for a bit. Mm -mm, our pitching has not seen us through it a little bit. God damn it. 
It was an okay pitch. Come on. All right. At least he's not getting upset about it just yet. We got another chance to get it out here before we really have to start getting concerned. Hey, fork ball worked. Eel soup settles under it, makes the catch. Here's Pepe Vinicio. I have been omitting one of the syllables for his name from his name, so apologies to the whole Vinicio family. Friendly call. Here it comes. Sure about that? That was a pretty good looking pitch. Come on, don't do this to me. I'll give you another one. Um, go foul, please. It will not. Did not have hit the cutoff, man. It wouldn't have mattered, though. So that's not very good. All right, long ball. If you're able to run that down, won't be able to prevent the runner from tagging. That guy seemed pretty fast. Two full power throws, and it wasn't even close. All right, two down. Just need to get this last out. Everything will be fine. We can score one run. All right, mixed deals there. Doesn't going to trot over to first. Gave up a donger. But the I'm sure that the sirloin offense is about to come alive. I didn't even swing at the first pit. Oh, I think mixed deal got all of that one. High ball game. Donger to right field. Into the second deck. First at bat of these playoffs, and it's a home run. Wow, that was shockingly slow. Don't think that'll be dropping in. This guy's pretty slow. Oh, he's going to slide very gracefully. He started so far away and just smoothly set it out there. Here's Damien Rush, who's struggling the first two games. That was the one. All right, I'm settling down on the hitting a little bit. That pitch is difficult. Yep, splats it right at him. But we do make up the run. Going to need some more good work from Skip Vanderwink here. McSteel runs it over first. One down. Ooh, gets it with the fork ball. I don't think I've thrown a slider yet this game. Let's... Never saw it coming. Skip with the catch. You throw, two down. Here's Gustafsson who made that miraculous sliding catch last inning in the outfield. Let's try to act our revenge on him. She really went for that. That was a quick dive. And that's going right to Mick Steele. He's been a busy man. And three up, three down. Uh, nice job by Slip settling into place. And here's Ilsu. Damn, I hate you, V Callahan. You didn't have to catch that. Why do you do eel soup like that? Hm. That was somewhat embarrassing. That was also embarrassing, and I wish I'd whiffed that as well. We are uh, pushing the edge of their their mojo going up on the pitcher. I'm wow. It shouldn't be that easy. Can't let it be. Mm. Another ugly inning for the sirloin bats. Boyd Cook, he should be able to take care of that. Nice catch, nice throw, one down. All right, give him, give him the fork ball if the fans want to see. Well hit. Face it up the middle. I'm trying. Stealer, huh? Okay, I better throw the heat just in case you decide to steal. Thought I might have that one. 
We got our one for the season. That's all we're gonna get, I suppose. Can we have a strike out, please? No, but that is almost as good. Vanderwink makes the catch, two down. Here's Pepe Venizio. Good eye on that one. Thank you. Fans are all holding their breath. But the fork ball seems to have done it. Long ball, though. Not going to make the catch, but he made the run. Uh, so, another hit there for the Moonstars, but no damage done. There are shortstops real good at shit. But he legs it out for the infield base hit. Only the second hit of the game for the Sirloins. Kind of serve that one up. It's pretty deep out there, but I think that's enough. Two run donger for Preston Adonimus trying to win his starting position back. Not gonna happen. That is the way you do it. Suddenly the sirloin suddenly. The sirloin bats have come alive. Yeah, it's off his face. McSteel adds a base hit to his uh, home run from earlier. Looking pitch there. Inside. A couple pitches. Oh, took one too many pitches. And pops out meekly. I did enjoy that. Alright, here's Damien Rush. He's feeling tense, but I'm pretty much out of players I can plug in. As I traded. Tish ball and I don't really have a valid sub for him and that looks like he'll run it out so no double play Here's Madoka. She's also tense. Everybody's tense. Pitchers back up to neutral Stakes were made go 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 All right spawns in time gets the runner in scoring position Swings at that outside pitch and will not be able to run it out. But two big runs for the Sirloins as they seize the lead for the first time this game. Got the Sniffles and then just fake them out. Sniffles is all ploy. Follow. About that. Strikes. Deal looked like he almost had that one in his sights. Ayata makes the catch and a lovely throw to first. One down. Fork ball. That's the suspicious pitch. I right, got lucky there. Oh. Face it up the middle. Fresh fields and throws. All right, let's get a double play here. It's fine. Everything's fine. Right. It's a little slider there. Gets him on the fastball. A true show of bravery. Oh, I thought he was going to catch that. That was incorrect. Runner will hold it second. And my overwhelming desire to throw a fork ball has... Ruined it at bat for me again. Two strikes. Really? Right in the gap? Long ball is not even bothering to throw home. Me too. So hard times have come this inning for Slip Vanderwink as they're just an excellent job of hitting it through the gaps, and Hayata's not really a good enough fielder to catch that one. Bases are loaded. Was not really what I was hoping for. And strikeout would mean a lot to me. Wow! And he just 
Blast that one to left. Another run comes in. We got a tie game. Slip Vanderwink falling apart here in what? The fourth, fifth, fifth. Pressure is, oh my God. Look at him. He's dying out here. His stats are plummeting rapidly. He's being forced to throw too many pitches. I don't understand why pitchers get my starting. Come on. Everything is just laced to the outfield. Suddenly we can't get an out. Alright. Can I get a fucking out? Triple steal. And that's gonna work. Five three. We're going to be forced to go to our terrible... God damn, just everything working. Throwing it home, but he's not going to get him. What a disaster. I'm going to have to take this pitcher out. We got nothing in the bullpen. We traded away our only decent pitcher. Let's get in the Duke. Looks like this one might be heading to a game four. Probably could make the argument that I should have put in a new pitcher a little bit earlier, but I thought I could pitch my way out of it. There's no reason to believe that, but I did. Alright, gets a strikeout. Uh, but the damage has been done. A six-run fifth for the Moonstars. Maybe Eel Soup will save us. All right, not by swinging at pitches like that. Oh, caught the corner. And it's just a pop-up. Fish is breaking stuff from whoever this jerk is. Ah, uh, that's not going to do it either. Alright, here's Lloyd Cook. Looked good, but they have good fielders, so it was not good. And that's an easy 1-2-3 inning. I gotta get through several innings with the bullpen, which um, I think I can do that. I mean, the Dukes had some nice outings. It's a pop up there. Eel soup settles under it, does a twirl. Slider there. This one low and out of the zone. Almost at it. Gets him with the fastball. So Eel Soup's been uh, very impressive against the first three batters he's faced. Ooh, friendly officiating. That's hit well, but I think that Rush will be there. Three up, three down. Uh, but the Sirloins have got to show some life here on offense or games all over. We may as well just... Book our hotel for another few nights. Is it enough? It is not. Warning track power. Bummer there. Well hit ball. Here's Preston Adonimus. Interesting pitch. No, oh, I felt like that could have gone a little bit better. And Mick Steele, he's two for two. Barely. Mistakes were made. McSteel's not running shit out, I can tell you that much. And another 1-2-3 inning as the hopes of the Sirloins of winning Game 3 are slowly vanishing. If I can't start generating some offense. Can I have the other guy? Thanks. Screen anyway. Oh, probably there's no screen over Whatever. All right, Hayata doesn't have to dive, so she can probably make this play. Lovely throw. You never know if McSteel is just going to drop it, though, so you don't want to really call those as complete until you see the catch get made. Okay. There we go. 
Duke's been known to have some control problems because he's not real good at pitching. And nice catch by Mick Steele. Two down. Locked in now, though. That's really good to see. Maybe we'll uh, be able to get through this inning as well. Eel Soup. Range is back, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Here we head to the top of the eighth. The Sirloins need to get some work done. Javi Cortez hasn't gotten any hits yet this game. I don't think that's going to help. I didn't think that swing was that bad. Hmm. Damian Rush for MVP. <laughs> what, a, what a play. They're leaving uh, Turnberger in. Thought he was trying to throw that at Damian Rush intentionally. Oh, come on. I hit that so fucking well, but he drops it. Pepe Vinicio drops it. And uh, the sirloins still have life. Oh, but Eel Soup couldn't do anything with that high ball. We still got a hammer long ball. Though. He hasn't had much of a series so far, but you never know when he might bust out. I wanted to swing. I wanted to swing and decided too late. That's not going to stay fair, is it? No. All right, two strikes on the batter. Doesn't swing at that one. Full count. Yeah, I shouldn't have swung it down. That was a ball four. Oh, I thought he'd throw a strike. So the sirloins threaten on the strength of a hitting the pitcher in the gut and a error, but couldn't get any runs out of it. Duke still feeling fine. May as well leave him in. He's now our bullpen ace, despite not being any good. Definitely have to take a look in the offseason about um, budget-friendly ways to improve our pitching rotation. I mean, our starters are fine. Our starters are totally fine. But uh, sometimes you, you just need to have somebody in the bullpen. But, I mean, hey, the Duke's got a 2.45 ERA and a .55 whip somehow. So, despite him having terrible stats, he's just, he's just mowing men down. I'm, I've really never seen anything like it. I mean, he's... Actually, I mean, that's his postseason ERA, so it's not that impressive. But he gets another 1-2-3 inning, so what can you say? The results were really good. Now we need four runs just to stay in it. Lloyd Cook struggled. I can't believe they're leaving this pitcher in. And they'll probably pull him right after that. We'll see, though. Nope, well, guess not. Giving us all the chances in the world here. Oh, that was the pitch. Why did I swing at that thing? That was over my head. Alright. Here's Preston Adonimus. That would have resulted in something better, but we'll take a base hit. Two on, one out. You're in the ninth. Sirloin's trying to make up this lead. Let's see what Mick Steele can do. He's had oh, this guy throws real fast. All right, that probably puts a cramp in my plans. The short no no no. Everybody go back. Oops. All right, game three goes to the Moonstars. That's just one disastrous inning. Everything else was perfect. That's a rough one. Seven earned runs for, for Skip Vanderwink as they just poured on hit after hit. Mm. Preston Adonis, that's the second star of the game, though. I am now the 63rd most points-gathering <laughs> player in the world. Bob Bilford, playing at the same ego level, has gotten 60,000 more star points than me. Jealous of him.
All right, I was hoping to close it out there and then just watch some other team's game to round out the ha second half of the doubleheader. That will not be happening. Let's uh, see what happens here as the Jacks take on the B-Wolves. Battle of two pretty terrible pitchers. All right, see what happens. It could go either way. B-Wolves jump out early and just pour it on. 13 runs, wow. Impressive showing for them as they take the 2 one Wide loads looking to close it out, much as we were. Um, two bad pitchers once again. Hard to say who's going to win. Heaters take a bit of lead. Wide loads side up, but then the heaters put it away late. So no sweeps here in the first round. Wild pigs trying to close down the moose. Once again, pretty bad pitchers. Nice to see that other teams' third and fourth pitchers are no better than mine. What a game. The Moose tie the series at two. All right, Sirloins. Teo Niomo, which is, what, looks bad, but she's secretly great. Uh, taking on the mediocre Jane Burns. I can get some hits on All right, let's see what we need to do to the lineup. It's probably quite a bit. All right. Platoon's still hurt, so Ayata's staying in. Um, the Despot can come back in. Better Despot. Cat stands is ready to come back in. I don't have anybody who can play third, do I? Oh yeah, it's only Boomer Platoon. He's staying in no matter what. Um, anybody who can play shortstop? I doubt it. Oh, Despot can play shortstop. That's her secondary position? Right field, I guess she can play shortstop as well. It says Mick Steele can play shortstop. That doesn't seem... Oh, okay. Hayata can. That makes sense. Um, but I'm about to play third, so there's no reason to really change that. Put you up here, and then we're gonna we're gonna put eel soup way down in the order. Um, Javier Cortez really the best I got here. I don't think so. Cat Stan needs to get back in, so you go in here. You're supposed to be leaving off anyway, so we'll do that. Ayata can go down in the batting order as well. Cortez will come out and Nick Steele will... There we go. Alright, it's a lineup. Game 4 or 5. Another chance to close it out for the Sirloins. And hopefully we do before returning home. I don't want to put all the pressure on myself in a Game 5. Don't particularly want to face their ace again either. That's a pretty big roll of the dice. All right, that's a good start. Really? That's the best I could do with that pitch? Come on, Brad. Hammer long ball, oh, bat in second. Haven't seen that for a while. Sends it for a ride, but it will be caught. They're fast. All right, Lloyd Cook. Nice pitch. Oh, come on, he just flopped that in there. And Lloyd can't, oh, throws it away. Lloyd Cook heading to second. Uh, he's going to make it. Critical error there, and let's see if better Despot can take advantage. Uh, not by swinging at pitches like that. God damn it. All right. Almost got a cheap one, but I kind of botched that last at bat. Let's see what K.O. Neomo can do. He had a really good regular season, but... Uh, that's not great. Hammer long ball. Takes a stab at it. Can't quite get it. Runner on second. No outs. Hey, thank you for letting me get away with that one. And fires the fastball by and one down. Nice job by KO there. Like she's settling in a little bit here. Oh, settling in did not help. And it was like we're going to give up a first inning run here. Didn't even bother throwing home. 
got greedy in a way that I knew it wasn't going to work. Just with me. Just one run. Got away with it. Holding those pitches a little bit too long. I'm going to take the runner at first. Runner will advance the third. Hopefully we can get one more out here. Limit the damage. All right. Okay. Got here in my mouth. Could have been worse. One run surrendered. Uh, we got plenty of hitting. We'll figure this out. Oh, but I'm not I'm not hitting so great. Now batting the designated hitter, Mick Steele. Why am I even swinging at that though? That's exactly what I deserved. Yeesh. This is not good. I gotta start getting some hits here against this tarot pitcher. Monica, a little depressed, but she Oh man, she's already locked in. Bummer. Her accuracy is still trash, so I should watch some pitches. All right, base it for Monica. First hit of the game for the Sirloins. Chased it a little bit, but it was still in the strike zone, I think. And here's Eel Soup. Oh, it was so slow. I'm not stealing. Don't do that. Probably shouldn't have swung at that. No more. What are you doing? All right, two balls. Wow, you are quite paranoid. Fans are just booing her mercilessly, even though they're the whole thing. cup. Wow. <laughs> Foolishness cost her there. Full count. Oh god, I got lucky there. That pitch was way down low. Oh, that pitch was not low, but I couldn't do anything with it. That hurts. Change up away. Nice catch by Modica. I don't expect that out of my field. Even that one was lightly hit. I still expect my it just to bounce harmlessly off their gloves, oftentimes into outer space. All right, hot fly, long ball. I was calling for it. Two down. Got to get Ko going here. Suspicious pitch. Oh, still got it. Gotta blow this high fastball by him. Probably not. Hopefully he didn't bring a second bat. Oh, but it appears that he did. Cat stands not gonna get to that. Long ball is gonna throw him out at first though. It's got a gun. Wow, Pepe Vincio, because of that error in the first inning, he's feeling pretty down in the dumps. Like, just the kind of man I should be striking out. Not gonna happen, but Cat Stans is gonna rub it in. There we go. Alright, come on, Rush. Oh, that's certainly a strike. Moments like these that I truly hate myself. Cat Stanza. Pitcher's back. What was I doing? Slop in. Wow, what a catch by Pepe. He should be not rattled after that. He probably still is, but damn. Now, less swinging. Ah, I shouldn't have swung at that either. Should just let it go. Ugh, that's kind of the microcosm of the season there for Hammerlong Ballo. Things that nothing's come easily to him. 
bones are creaking. Boyd Cook gets over there. One down. That looks like a home run. That pitch was phenomenal, but it doesn't really matter. Uh oh. Fucking Gustav Gustafsson does it again. And that makes K.O. Neomo tense, which is not a good thing. Maybe a strikeout could make you feel better. Ah, I think. Yep, making her work for it. All right, here's eel soup. Another 99 throw. She's just the best at throwing. All right, Mojo back to neutral. Let's see if we can keep it that way by getting another out. Maybe. Yes, Damien Rush is there. Good thing he's pretty fast. But that's another run, and Sirloin's not showing much life on the offensive, and they're pitching all the way back to neutral. Yeah, that Boo! As she intentionally plunked Lloyd Cook in the elbow. That's my belief, at least. Here's better despot. Swinging at terrible pitches. Good lord, what am I doing? Oh, lean into that. There's two strikes on you. All right, hits that one right in the gap. Runners on first and second, no outs. Nicely done by Better Despot. Waits on her pitch and drives it in the gap. Here's Filet Jones. He can hit a three-run donger. <sighs> Breaking stuff fooled me. Hits it hard, but that's not good because he's not going to run it out. And the double play, come on. That's the last thing we needed. See if Mick Steele can drive one in. Terrible. Oh, no. I should have done so much better with that one. I am letting these sirloin batsmen down time and again. I cannot believe I can't score on this pitcher. Only got two fucking hits in the game. How are such things possible? Hey, about that? Ooh. I believe Ko Neomo had one or zero walks in the regular season. And I would have just as soon walked him, I suppose. Doesn't make much of a difference. Lead off single. Putting the pressure on us. <sighs> that sucks. Suddenly they're hitting everything. Got Mojo down, of course. Can't give up two hits in a row. That was like a double play ball. All right. We got a chance to get out of this inning without any runs scored. Can we do it, though? That's the question. I held you. All right. That still works. Strike out here would be pretty sweet. Got a chance. All right. Lloyd Cook is there. Makes the catch. Forceful throw. And it's still 2 0. Sirloins trailing, heading into the top of the fifth. What am I doing swinging at that? I've got no business doing it. Yeah, just look at it. That one was right down the middle. That was close. Crotch crap. Turn the swung at it, not going to get away with it. God damn, Brad. All right, here's eel soup. Break one. Oh, 
eel soup with the basin up the middle. That's the kind of thing we need to start this rally. Probably not going to get her enough to be her to not be tense because she's had a rough go of it. Is it enough? Is it enough? Yes! Two run donger from Damien Rush ties this game up. Finally, the sirloin bats wake up. Really? Couldn't hit that, huh? Oh, I have some regrets about that swing. Two down. Here's Long Ballo, feeling tense. This is a chance to get well. Close. That was not. And he walks on four pitches. Here's Lloyd Cook. Highlight of his game was getting hit by a pitch. Ooh, swings a little late on that one. Nice one. Well hit ball. Not going to get over that tall fence. Not caught either, though. Not going to be able to send the runner home. Runners on second and third. Four. Better despot. This is their chance to make a huge impression for the sirloins. On that one. Oh, just take that in the knee. Who cares? Ah, uh, she sends it pretty deep. Is it gonna be Oh, that's definitely enough. Better despot with an RBI double giving the sirloins a four to two lead. He's gonna be a legend in the sirloin uniform. <laughs> Tell alright, here's PA Jones. Oh, what a catch by game. But, that's a four-run sirloin inning. Let's see if uh, Keo Neomo can keep her head in the game and not make me resort to the horrifying contents of the bullpen. Whoa, that one was very hard to control. Oh boy, I've made some mistakes there. I don't even know where he went. He just flies off screen. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button because I'm a moron. I think if I hit the actually I hit two wrong buttons before I hit the right one. Yow. The always dangerous Gustav Gustafsson is also locked in, which is not what we needed. Thought I might fool. All right. Thought about throwing it for the lead runner, but let's just play it safe. I think I could have gotten him. Hit well, but not well enough. Filet Jones is there. Sirloins survive. As long as they leave this pitcher in here, I got a chance. No matter how much he crotch grabs me. It's a good looking pitch. Nicely done by Mick. I, for most humans, that would be a double. For him, I'm sending him back to first because I don't think he can make it. He's really that slow. <laughs> now the third baseman, <laughs> it was too slow for me to hit. I couldn't do it. I don't think that's a home run. That's a very deep part of the park. Here's Eel Soup. That's deep enough, I think. I think Eel Soup's done it. Two run donger for Eel Soup. She's not going to be tense anymore. And the lead is ballooned to four. Ow! Oh, don't take her out! I was having so much fun with Jane Byrne, director of the acclaimed documentary series Baseball. Uh, is that going to dip in? Yeah, maybe. Yep, got it. Right. 
The hit parade continues for the Sirloins after a rough start. Very fast. Not used to that anymore. That was also very fast, and I shouldn't have at it. But advances the runner second. Not the worst thing in the world. Can we get one more hit? Can the hammer do something good? Can he recapture his youth? Or will I swing at pitches like that? <laughs> but another couple runs on the board. And the Sirloins sitting pretty with a four-run lead. Strikeout. Eel soup! Oh! The dreaded leadoff single. We're only in the sixth inning. We're far from out of the woods here. You can steal. Alright, I'll throw a fastball. I'm going to... That's gone. That is gone. And just like that, the four run lead has shrunk to two. I hate you, Rusty Bust, and you stink, buddy. Can we get her through the inning? I don't know. I can't even pitch the Duke today because the Duke's tired. Not to mention. <laughs> so it's going to be Linus Digby? Oh my god. Alright. Better Despot settles under it. One down. We can get KO back to neutral. It's a big ask. But if we can. Maybe even the next inning. Stamina is not. Too badly. All right. I'm not controlling Lloyd Cook for some reason, but whatever. <laughs> Still makes the catch. She is back up to neutral. All right. Two strikes on the batter. How's it off? I wanted to see, but. Uh, that fastball was going to do it. Come on, dude. Enough of this bullshit. Boyd Cook will get there. Throws easy enough. And once again, the sirloins make it in interesting, surrendering two runs. We got the meat of the lineup coming up, though, against this pretty good pitcher. Nah, it's not going to do it. That one tailed a little too much outside for me. He's better despot. Things a stupid pitch, but it might work. It might work. It did not. Wow. God damn, Brad. I've not adjusted well to this change in pitcher velocity. Struggling Filet Jones. Kind of got a hold of that one. Is it enough? Very high, and he's done it. Clay Jones breaks out of his slump for solo donger. A mere 380 feet, but he'll take it. He's struggled all series, and that's a big hit for him. That one dipped very quickly. Crotch grab meme. Ah, I should have let that one go. This keeps doing it. Oh, God. Well, I <laughs> shouldn't have swung out of those either, but whatever. On the seventh, Sirloin lead back to three. I'm going to watch my pitcher very closely. Um, Pepe might be the last batter she faces. On. Yeah, you gave up a hit to Pepe, Vincio. It's time for you to go out. That's the kind of thing that kind of snowballs. <laughs> None of that. Not even rattled anymore. All right, now is where things get scary. The Duke, oh, the Duke can pitch. He's fine. No, uh, he's fine. Okay. Right. Don't have to, don't have to bring in Linus Digby. So hope still lives. That vicious slider. Oh, we almost had a cat. Ugh, couldn't quite make the catch. That's a bummer. 
Alright, two on, no outs. Can the Duke keep us in it? With a baffling array of curveballs and sliders. Not lucky there. That was risky, but it pays off huge as the double play is turned. Both of those runners look like they could have been safe, honestly. Wow. Oh, didn't like that. I am running out of cereal. All right, here's eel soup. Eel soup, has she gone yard again? It looks like it's not quite gonna make it, but that is a multiple base hit, I think, unless she gets slower. Alright, nice job by Eel Soup with the double. Uh not what I was hoping for. Run faster? Alright. We got one chance here. It's all up to Cat Stanza. Do we can get another insurance run? Mmm, yes! The seeing eye single to right. What a job by Cat Stanza. The pitcher's mojo goes down. The sirloin's up again by four. I blew that. That was my bad. Can Hammer run through? No. Half a step. All right. We just need, we just need Digby to get us through. Or sorry, the Duke to get us through. One more inning here. We can bring in Franzilla for the scary save opportunity. No, technically it wouldn't be a save from four runs, I believe. But whatever. Got Stanza. Going to celebrate the only way she knows how. Ooh, hey. I got away with one there. The Duke has been just absolutely critical to our success in this series. Now that we don't have Shady to rely on, it's either him or nothing. And he's come up pretty huge. Can Lloyd get there? Uh, yes, he could have if I did something other than that. Not bad. Corner there. The slider's coming. I thought that was... Oh, nice catch! Not going to catch him at first, though. <sighs> Alright, they're bringing in this guy who does not fill my heart with fear by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no, that was so slow. And now the bases are loaded. I should have just thrown to first. God damn it. Boo Lewis represents the tying run. Uh, that doesn't scare me. Infield fly rule will be invoked, so I can't drop it and get the double play. Only need one more. Come on. Dig deep. It's, oh, okay. It's just, Pe it's just Pepe Vincio. Vinicio. I'm sorry, Vinicio. <sighs> scary. That was also scary. Oh, the Duke's super tired. Can he get this one more strike? That's the one. What a gutsy effort. <laughs> As the Zerloin survive a bases loaded threat. Wow. Got done better with that. Took a swing at that, and it's not going to stay fair. Took a swing at that either. I'm somehow is going wild. Do that. All right, here's b better despot. Two for four on the game. Bring it high pitches. Classic Brad. Stays alive. <laughs> Dove like I do. 
Oh, man, what a catch by Rusty Bustum. I feel like that deserved better. Here's Flay Jones. And that'll be the third out. It's going to be all up to Franzilla. I think he can defend a four-run lead. Other than that one six-run inning I gave up in the previous game, I've done pretty well. Franzilla time. Here come the fastballs. Right at Hayata, she makes the catch. Easy throw, one down. The sirloins can taste the pennant coming. You know, just to get to the pennant. We're not gonna... Oh, I thought she could get it. I should have dove. Franzilla allows a runner. Not what we were hoping for. Using the heat. To Eel Soup. Eel Soup to second. Lloyd Cook to first. Double play. And the Sirloins have done it. They've advanced the league championship. I was a little nervous there after the slow start, but innings five through eight really uh, pushed us through. He almost struggled a bit in that, in that game, but she did okay. Start of the game. Eel Soup. And there's Damian Rush. Now the 61st first, first greatest player of all time by volume. Suck on that, Coach Beer. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go through the rest of division series here. Uh, probably nothing here, right? Right. So let's uh, simulate the next game. This is the Bee Wolves and the Jacks. The Jacks need to win to stay in it. Um, wow, Bella Meatball, who I've seen before. She is literally the worst pitcher in this game as far as starting pitchers go. But the Bee Wolves. Just rampage through, and apparently Meatball took care of business? Are you serious? Can I, like, see a summary of that? Because I find that baffling. Is there any way I can see that? Maybe not. I want to see... Alright, fine, I guess I... I want to see, like, a box score of that game, because I don't understand how Meatball did so well. Whatevs. Alright, so now we've got the heaters and the wide loads. The heaters are throwing out a trash pitcher in a must-win game. Must-win game, but it worked fine for, uh... Ball. Heaters? Uh-oh. Didn't do it. The wide loads move on. So it'll be B-Wolves versus, uh, wide loads in the other side. And let's see if we're playing the wild pigs or the moose. Um, two okay pitchers. Wes Yogurt, in particular, is pretty good. See what they got. Oh, but the moose jump on early, and they hold on to win 3-2. to two. We'll be taking on the Moose in the next series. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at the, the league leaders in the playoffs. Um, all of my players, my hitting's not been that good, and we have just fallen off a cliff. Heel Soup finally makes an appearance there. Wow. We dominated the regular season, but uh, it's, been all, it's all wide loads players here in the playoffs. Pitchers, um... Bugsy, Snugs, and the Duke have done really well. Strikeouts, Manny K is looking pretty good. And uh, as usual, we don't walk people. We've only had six pitchers out there. And I don't think any of them had a walk, but there's one that's not showing up there. All right, well, those stats are pretty unimpressive for us. We're going to have to put in a little better effort against the Moose. Um, they're renowned for their good bullpen, so pretty much the exact opposite of us. We're known for our terrible bullpen. Uh, so let's see what we can do here in the league champion, the conference finals, as they call it. It's also best, uh, best of five series, but uh, not gonna do that right now. That'll be for the next video. Uh, we'll be taking on the moose, and hopefully the sirloins will march on to whatever they call the world series. All right, take care. I uh, hope you join me again for the next video. Bye.